On today's Know Your Stuff, we're going to talk about Roseville Pottery, what to look out for, what's out there, and all that stuff, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, definitely go down there and click the subscribe button. Click the bell for notifications to be notified when new videos come out or anytime I go live. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite pottery brands, Roseville. Now Roseville's been around since 1890. It started in Roseville, Ohio of all places, of course, hence the name. And it came out with a couple of other uh, highly well-known pottery brands uh, around that time, uh, Weller and Rookwood being uh, the other two from Ohio. But today we're going to talk about Roseville pottery, what to look out for, the different kind of things to uh, check out and condition and just what generally look out for when you're out there sourcing. So let's do it. So today we have four examples of Roseville pottery. Actually, this one is not a Roseville and we're going to get into that in just a second. But these three vases over here are Roseville pottery. As we can see here, we have the Zephyr Lily, which is very popular flower we got the water lily and we got the clematis basically vine flower um, all white flowers as we could see here uh, this particular stuff um, i think was out in the 40s in the 50s this particular blue color as we can see here so uh, quite notably uh, we're going to move these to the side just for a second as we can look at here we're basically going to look under now so if you don't know about roseville pottery all you need to do is just flip over the bottom and all will be revealed. Now this goes for basically any kind of pottery. Uh, as we can see here, this one says Roseville uh, USA on the bottom here and this one says 71-4. Now the 71 is basically the model number, the dash four is four inches tall uh, as we can see here. And of course Roseville USA now, um, I've been told if it just says Roseville, it's kind of like a knockoff. I guess they were doing a lot of knockoffs uh, back in the day. And uh, as far as condition on this one, as you can see, this one has a major chip. Uh, now, this is a chip. There's also something called a flea bite. Now, I wonder if I can see if I can see something like that. So, like this particular thing, if we can zoom in here, that is called a flea bite. Usually, flea bites will also be along the edge. They're basically little tiny nicks. Uh, that are on the pieces. So if you're describing one of these for eBay, definitely say flea bite. That is a chip. Uh, chips are usually larger. Um, some people might call flea bites chips, but uh, in the business, in the pottery world, they're called flea bites. As we can see here, this isn't really a chip, but it's where you know some of the, the painting and the glaze was very thin on this one. So when examining a Roseville piece, you definitely want to look at all the spots inside of it, make sure there's no cracks or anything. So this one would be worth dramatically less because of uh, the chip. Um, chips, cracks, repairs will knock a price down all the way up to 80%. You really want to find something that is in pristine condition. And by looking these up, uh, this particular one is 71-4. You can look that up on eBay to find exactly what the name is. This one's actually a water lily, as we can see here, the lily pads on there and the kind of waves and everything. But if we want to look at this particular one, this is the Zephyr lily. These are one of my favorite ones right here. Uh, as we can see here, this one has a, a crack that goes all the way along. And I think if we can look right here, uh, we can see the crack that goes all the way along there. So this was actually... Um, I'm not sure if this was repaired or if this was a crack, but also look out for that kind of stuff when you're sawing this. So that dramatically uh, drops the price down. As we can see here, if we look at this one, it says Roseville uh, USA 130-6. So the dash six is basically the height. Now there are some sets that whole things go together with. So you might see um, for this example, 180, dash 4, 180-5, 180 if it's the same thing it usually comes together in a set. Sometimes there's sets of four or five different things. But for the most part if you look any of these numbers up on eBay it'll tell you uh, basically what this is. Now they've used some of the same numbers across the board on some like I said if there's a set. So you might see uh, different kind of things with uh, different patterns with those numbers but for the most part the number is going to tell you what exactly uh, there is. So basically with this 
one uh, is the same thing. As we can see here, uh, this one says 187. You can zoom in here. Uh, this one says 187 dash seven inches. And they're really kind of hard to pick up on the camera without having to look, you know, but uh, that's basically what to look for for that. So, you know, on this piece, this is a stellar piece. We look all the way around it. Uh, there looks like there's a little bit of uh, glazing right there. And for the most part, this one uh, looks really, really good as far as uh, the colors. Now, Roseville Pottery did come in a few colors. These ones happen to be the blues and the greens. And uh, there's also browns, there's some pinks and reds, and usually those are the earlier ones. The very highly sought after ones that I've seen are kind of the beige and the brown ones. Uh, the blue, this is probably the least probably uh, collected color, this kind of greenish aqua blue. Uh, these ones are very popular too, but they don't go for a crazy amount of money just for the different colors. But it's one of those things to look out for uh, when you're looking at def definitely uh, def different pottery when you're out and about. These things are very noticeable. Once you start collecting these or you start knowing about these, you can spot these things a mile away. But like I said, you want to look underneath it. You want to make sure it says Roseville USA and you want to look at the, the different number. If it doesn't, if it just says Roseville and it doesn't say USA, those are the knockoff ones. Um, I've done this for a long time. I've never seen one of those in person. And so there's definitely that. Now let's talk about this pot over here that I wanted to bring that is not a Roseville. It's kind of like a knockoff of a Weller. As we can see here, there is uh, this kind of uh, marking right here that is undistinguishable. And uh, of course, there's like an artist kind of signature right there. I wanted to bring up uh, the crazing or crackling. As you can see here, the inside here looks like it's cracked. Definitely look out for that. Some Roseville pottery will have that, that crackling and that crazing, they call it. And basically that's when, you know, when the, the what do you call it, when it was curing or over the years, the, the glaze would actually, you know, heat up and cool off. And if they're in hot environments, what happens is over time, you know, they separate and crack. And some of these, some of this kind of look is actually highly desirable for certain uh, pots and vases and stuff like this. This one, you can't really see it. This one actually has a little bit of that crackling on the inside and it's not really noticeable on the outside, but you know, definitely on the inside you can see where it's like, it doesn't mean that it's cracked or it's broken. You know, for this particular one, you know, it's quite obvious that uh, as we can see here that there's a crack along this area. So like I said, when you're dealing with Roseville pottery, definitely look to see, you know, does it have flea bites? Does it have chips, cracks, repair work? Uh, sometimes you find these and they're repaired very well. Um, as we can see here, there's like some sort of, I don't know if that's a crack or if that's a pencil mark. Sometimes you'll see pencil marks that are on there also uh, with that. So with that, hopefully you got some information and you'll be looking out for these Roseville pottery pieces. Now, some of these pieces, like for these basically ones, this is anywhere between $25 to $50 a piece for these. Usually the smaller pieces, you know, go for less and you're looking for the bigger, larger vases, umbrella stands, wall sconces, and things like that. And definitely the browns and the earth tone colored ones. So like I said, this one, you know, that's broken, you know, brand new mint condition you're looking at like fifty dollars but for this in this current conditions maybe like 10 to 15 and so that's what i'm saying the chips and the cracks play heavy this and this one's a similar one where in mint condition it can go anywhere from 40 to 60 but with that chip you know you're looking to get maybe uh, 15 to 20 uh, for the water lily so hopefully this helps you out with understanding a little bit more about roseville and i definitely hope you find some out there so there you have it. I hope this video was insightful and you did learn something. If you did, definitely go down or click the like button. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button. And also, I want to thank all my Patreons out there. You made this video happen. I really appreciate that. And we're going to talk about more pottery down the road. There's Weller, there's Van Briggle, Rookwood. So anytime I get another piece, we're going to do maybe a Know Your Stuff video on this. So once again, I'm Chris, the Fish Shop Hustler. Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll see you next time.
What she know about rocking the wolf on your noggin? What she knowin' about wearing a bird box? Skin, I'm digging, I'm digging, I'm searching right through that luggage. One man's trash, that's another man's. Fuck your granddad, we're donating that slap. Now I'm up in her. 